So the story begins tonight with White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley, who was in the room during the president's fiery press conference today. Hogan, good to see you. Thanks for being here tonight. I mean, you know, I think people look at this and, and they say, what about us? You know, what about the people of America who would very much like everybody to stop squabbling and maybe get some of this stuff done? Well, you're, you're right. And that's exactly what the American people should be asking. This is the Russia collusion hoax witch hunt 2.0. They first accused this president of colluding with a foreign power without proof, without evidence. And now Nancy Pelosi is saying that the president is engaged in a cover up without proof and without evidence. At some point, the media has to ask these Democrats, where's the proof? And if you have all this proof, why are we going through with these investigations? It's not the president who's suffering here. He's doing quite well. It's the American people who deserve their elected officials to roll up their sleeves and get to work, and Democrats refuse to do that. They let our borders become open. They won't touch uh, infrastructure as we're trying to do this week. It's in bad need of repair. Uh, they won't touch the health care system. These Democrats refuse to do anything in the first hundred plus days of uh, their control and won't work with the president on a single I, topic. I, I want to ask you about what the president's going to do next, but I do want to ask you a quick question because there was an interesting moment when um, he was asking all of you, you know, the recollection of what happened in the room because she obviously characterized it very differently than the president did. He said he was uh, very common at one point. Um, he said, is there a tape of what happened in there? And Kellyanne Conway said, nodded, yes. So is there a tape of what happened in there? Yeah, if there's a tape, I've not seen it, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. Listen, we know how the president acts in those closed-door meetings. He's always very calm. He always has the interest of the American people at heart. And instead, Democrats come in there, and they want to use the White House and the West Wing to grandstand and try to score cheap political points. What we've got to do is decide. Two I words were at stake this week. It was infrastructure and impeachment. The Democrats chose impeachment, and it's a shame for the American people. So what what does the president do now? I mean, what, what's, what's his strategy? Because it feels like they're trying to pull this all the way into the 2020 mode where everything is just on lockdown, nothing's going to happen, and it's going to be all about investigation after investigation. Well, look, no one's a better brander, no one's a better communicator than Donald Trump. And what he's going to do is take it directly to the American people. We've now seen some, even in the mainstream media, find religion on immigration. We have been crowing about this for two plus years. The president took it directly to the American people from the Oval Office, uh, from the White House briefing room, from the diplomat reception room. And finally, the media is starting to say, hey, there might be a problem on the southern border. The impact across this country has been great. We felt it. The president has been talking about it. He's going to have to use the, the bully pulpit of the presidency to take it to the to the people because they deserve to know what's going on. And Democrats won't come All to right, the so table. And we're going to expose that time and I time again. So, so with regard to immigration, there was an announcement today that that basically people who had sponsored uh, immigrants to come into the country are going to be responsible for repaying any of the benefits that they take advantage of. How's that going to work? Well, absolutely. It's actually already codified into law. It was passed in 1996, signed by Bill Clinton. It just hasn't been enforced. Shockingly, the swamp takes over again. But this president says no more. It's time for those sponsors who said that they would pay for dollar for dollar matches to any federal program that paid for immigrants. It's time for them to have some skin in the game here. It, it's a kickstart, actually, to the merit based system we've talked about before. We want immigrants in this country. We're not even changing the 1.1 million immigrants that come come here every year. We're not changing that number, but we're changing the construct of those who come. We want people to contribute, not to be a drain on uh, the American economy or our social safety net programs that the American people deserve. Right now, right. immigrants are taking advantage of it, and the sponsors, by law, are supposed to pay for that, and it's time for them uh, to put in their fair share. So, let me ask you this. You know, obviously, we've watched what happened over the last 48 hours. That, that, that level really can't be, I don't think, can't be sustained, right, indefinitely. Does the president, maybe he can not work with Nancy Pelosi because they, they seem like they don't get along uh, at the moment. What about Chuck Schumer? Does he think there's a possibility that maybe he and Chuck Schumer can work together? Well, it's so interesting. I, b I believe so. But we were working with Chuck Schumer on immigration, for example, and Nancy Pelosi stepped in and, and pulled her puppet strings and said, you can't work with him. Let's not forget, after our first immigration meeting, we all came out with a kumbaya, let's work the together. The infrastructure meeting. And, correct, like three weeks ago. And then we set up a meeting with Secretary Mnuchin at the Treasury and Chairman Neal on House Ways and Means. 
Guess what? Nancy Pelosi also pulled that meeting as well. We were going to set up funding mechanisms so that we would have something substantive mm -hmm. to discuss yesterday. Nancy Pelosi has no intention of working with this president well, and no see. intention of doing something for the American people. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk to somebody who might have some more information on that right now. Um, so thank you, Hogan. Good to see you tonight. Hogan Gidley from the White House.